In this assignment, it will be necessary to remove the lid from your Copic Various Ink empty container and fill it with alcohol. Remove the tip from the container. I found a little funnel that fits the container and now fill that with the alcohol. Replace the little tip and then put the Copic Refill Booster Tip on that and tighten it securely. Using the Copic ink bottle which you filled with alcohol medium, with the work in your hand again at an angle to the table, start to drop the alcohol onto the already dried ink and watch how it affects what you did before. Again, I'm catching the ink onto a roll of paper towels. Now I'm going to pour ink on a piece of Yupo and follow it with the alcohol medium. This time you don't have to be concerned about what color you use when. We're just watching how they'll blend when I'm using it with the alcohol. The more alcohol you pour, the lighter it'll be. As you do it, you can start to tilt it and turn it and let the colors blend. Now I'll add some ultramarine. And once again, I'm going to add the alcohol. Now I'm going to oil, I'm going to put more yellow again, getting a different shade of green, tilting it and turning it as I do it and almost forming a landscape. Now I think I'll add a little duck blue. And then more medium alcohol. And then because I like duck blue and fuchsia together, I'm going to add that right there. And watch what happens with that color. It makes a beautiful lavender. Yay, I like that. I'm going to put it down. First I'll catch the excess ink. Then I'll put it down. And I think I will go back to that later and I'm going to make something out of that. I really like it. thought this is kind of neat. I just wanted to show you that I laid another piece of Yupo on top of this by mistake and look at the pattern that it caused. Paper towels several times and then cut them and make them into little squares or rectangles. I've already poured some Robin's Egg Blue on this piece of Yupo and now I'm adding alcohol. I'm blending it and turning it. And now putting it flat on the table and taking one of those little pieces of paper towel, I am going to stop the flow of ink. Those colors will soften and blend 
and I'm not concerned about this because I would add a darker color there. I just added alcohol to this piece that I've done before so that I can demonstrate what to do when those dark ridges form which you don't want. You may choose to leave them but this is how you remove them. It's still a little wet. It has to be a little wet and I can pick those ridges up with my piece of paper towel and if you want to experiment with this you can even move the paper towel in another direction and move colors around in that way. But you'll see that I am removing those dark ridges.